Until two years ago, Fadl Shakir was a singer, considered the king of romance for teenagers and their parents throughout the Arab world. Now he's a fugitive. The Lebanese government calls him a wanted terrorist. In this video posted on YouTube, Shakir appears to be boosting about killing two men believed to be Lebanese soldiers. Shakir, it seems, has joined a group led by Sheikh Ahmed al Asir. He is a Sunni cleric who suddenly rose to prominence after becoming very vocal in criticizing the Shia group Hezbollah and its leader Hassan Nasrallah. The Syrian crisis has deepened the political and sectarian divisions in Lebanon, and Asir seems to symbolize some of the Sunni community's resentment towards Hezbollah. Shakir used his fame to encourage people to fight along with the Syrian rebels and against Hezbollah. Here, Shakir says his wish is to be killed fighting for his cause. And in this video, Shakir appears to be threatening to kill his rivals and go after followers of Hezbollah. Last month, Asir's followers killed a dozen Lebanese soldiers. The army responded by attacking the group's stronghold in Sidon, south of Beirut. In the two days of fighting that followed, Fadl Shakir was among those who fought the Lebanese army. Shakir and Asir are now on the run. Some of Shakir's old CDs are still on store shelves, but the owner tells me not many people buy them anymore. His fans were shocked, he says. How can one make this shift from singing for love to becoming so violent? Yet Shakir still has sympathy among some Lebanese, like this young college student. I did like him as an artist and I like him more now. And in these tense times, it's this kind of sympathy for a man accused of killing soldiers that worries the Lebanese security agencies and some of the politicians here. Rula Amin, Al Jazeera, Beirut.